Hi everyone, this is Evil Graham 93 I've got another update for you. Uh, it's quite a big one, so I'm just going to get into it. I'll start with the one action figure that I got, and it is the NECA Ultimate Part 6 Jason. Now, this is an absolutely awesome looking figure, but I have got a couple of gripes one, very loose head, and two, very loose waist. And also, uh, I've posed him with the spear from the movie that he got. But uh, it's very, very brittle, and as you can see, the peg actually snapped inside the other part of the thing. So, uh, yeah, it's very brittle, something to look out for. So, uh, we we'll have to super glue that. But otherwise, a very cool looking Jason figure, and also you can remove the mask. Very awesome looking face. So, that's the one figure. But again, beware very loose joints and uh, very brittle um, accessories. Next I'll show you the one game that I got and it is Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock. I wanted to get this one for a while and I found it for like £2 so uh, yeah I can't complain. They've got some really great songs on this. Um, of course they've got Slayer on this, Chemical Warfare, a uh, brilliant song. Um, you know you've got Megadeth on it, it's really good. I enjoy it. Uh, next I'm going to show you something different that I've got and it's actually two pieces of wall art that I haven't put up yet. And the first one is of Harley Quinn, uh, Bombshell Harley, so uh, looking forward to putting that one up. And the next one, which I absolutely think is fantastic and it's very sinister, and it is the Joker walking out of Arkham Asylum. Very sinister looking, so can't wait to put them up. Uh, next I'll do the books. Uh, the first book is The Shining, uh, Stephen King. Uh, I started to read this, um, I just need to find the time to sit down properly and read it through. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to, uh, to reading it. The Shining is one of my all-time favourite movies, so I uh, really want to see what the book's like. Uh, next is a book that I have read, and I was glued all the way through this, and it is uh, Marilyn Manson's autobiography, um, The Long Hard Road Out of Hell. Um, it's very, very interesting. Very good read. If you love his music, I highly recommend reading it. It tells a lot about his life and what have you. Uh, and next, and the last of the books is The New 52's The Joker, uh, Death of the Family, which I'm about halfway through, so uh, yeah, it's pretty cool and I, I love it at the moment, so I can't wait to finish this one as well. Right, next we'll do CDs. Uh, I do believe all of these are metal, so uh, if you don't like metal CDs or metal music, you might just want to skip this part. So, um, first is Cradle of Filth, Midian. Um, pretty cool album. Um, quite like Cradle of Filth at the moment. Uh, next is Cradle of Filth, Hammer of the Witches, which I believe is their newest album. Again, pretty cool. Uh, next is one that a friend recommended to me, uh, this album in particular, and it's uh, Dream Theatre, Octavarium. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, the Root of All Evil is probably my favourite on this uh, album. Um, there's a couple of really sad songs in this, like uh, The Answers Lie Within. Um, oh, The Answer Lies Within, sorry. It's quite a sad song, so uh, yeah, it was alright. Next is Anthrax's new album, For All Kings. Um, took a while for me to get into this. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's as good as their other albums, but st you know, still listenable, I suppose. Next is Bullet for My Valentine, Fever. Again, it's just okay. Um, I'm a bit of a completist, so now I've got a couple of Bullet for My Valentine CDs. I'm just probably going to get how many others there are just to complete the set. Uh, next is a band that I've been trying to get into for a while so I thought I'd get this compilation album, I believe it's a compilation album. Uh, it's got two discs to it and it's King Diamond, uh, Dreams of Horror. So uh, yeah I'm still in two minds about this band, uh, I don't know whether I like them or not hence the compilation album. But the guy does look pretty cool to be fair. Next is another band that friends got me into, and it is Steel Panther. Uh, very funny band. Um, 
really dodgy lyrics to most of their songs, but really funny. I think they're quite popular anyway, Steel Panther, so... I'm sorry if I'm tearing through these, but I've just got lots to show you. I don't know how much room I've got left on my phone to record the video, so... Next is another Steel Panther album, All You Can Eat. Um, this one was probably my favourite out of the two that I've got. Um, again, really funny stuff. Next is Exodus, the Atrocity Exhibition, uh, Exhibit A. Um, this was a very cool album. I did remember liking this. I've had this one for a while now, but um, I did remember liking it a lot. So I've got a bit of a soft spot for Exodus. Next is Amon Amarth, Fate of Norns. Um, is it Norns? I think it's Norns or Horns, I don't know. Um, pretty sure it's Norns. Yeah, another cool album, Love Amon Amarth. Uh, next is one just, I just picked up for the cover really, uh, Motorhead, The Best Of, um, another compilation album of the best Motorhead songs, we've got, uh, which is spread across two discs, so uh, this is definitely one that's got to be kept in my car, so pretty cool stuff. Um, next is Ramstein, uh, I believe it's pronounced Rice Rice, I don't know, I don't speak German, but... Yeah, very cool album. Uh, it's got my all-time favourite Ramstein song on it, uh, Mind Tile, so yeah, very cool. And lastly for the music we have Corn, Life is Peachy. Um, yeah, it was just alright. Um, again, I'm just getting the Corn albums to finish the set really, so... Right, on with the films. I'll show you the no, uh, the horrors first, because I've got loads of non-horror to show you. Um, the one and only Blu-ray of the set, uh, DVD and Blu-ray combo, is The Mutilator, finally released in the UK, courtesy of Arrow Videos. I've finally got around to watching The Mutilator. I've not seen it. As soon as, I, as soon as I heard of this movie like years ago when I was collecting 80 slashes, this is one of the ones I've always wanted to get, so I finally got it now, I finally watched it. And uh, it, it was okay. Um, some really bad acting in it, but uh, some great gory kills. Um, and I quite liked it. I know this one's a bit of hit and miss with people, but you know I, I like this one, so uh, finally glad that I've got the, uh, the Mutilator uh, to go with my 80 slashes collection. Uh, next is one that I've seen ages ago and I finally got around to getting it on DVD and it is 1408 um, it's a very cool movie uh, I'd say it's re it's quite creepy when you watch it the first time but uh, when you, after you watch it the first time it's I don't know it it, it loses its charm but um, I've got it anyway because I've, I've got a soft spot for the movie uh, next is one that I've needed to get for a while and it's always been on the um, on my wish list so I finally got around to getting it and it's Zhu on the Grudge 2 um, sequel to the original Japanese Grudge um, I, I didn't really like this one um, the first one was a lot better so this one was just okay uh, next is one I've been looking forward to watching and as soon as I heard that it was coming out and it is Eli Roth's The Green Inferno. So yeah, you got Eli Roth. Um, this is his attempt of uh, bringing back the old cannibal movies like Cannibal Holocaust and Cannibal Fear Rocks and what have you. And uh, again, I've heard a lot of bad things about this movie, but I quite liked it. Um, I don't know. Uh, perhaps it's because I've got a bit of a thing for cannibal movies, but I quite liked it. It was all right. Um... It wasn't the best, admittedly, but yeah, it, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good neither. Next is the pack. Um, yeah, I just picked this up a bit of a blind buy. Um, looked like a killer dog movie, which it is. So um, it was all right. Could have been a lot better, but the main reason why I picked it up is because written at the top, it's it, uh, from the producers of Blackwater and the Reef, and they are my all. Uh, some of my favourite creature features right there. Um, Blackwater obviously being about a crocodile and the reef being about a great white shark. 
And I love how those movies were filmed, so I was thinking it would be somewhat similar to this. Um, they'd done something similar with this, but I don't know. It didn't really seem like it worked that well, but it was okay for a killer dog movie. Uh, next, I'm not sure whether it really fits into the horror, but I've chucked it in with the horror DVDs anyway. And it's the, uh, the number 23 with Jim Carrey. I suppose it's more like a psychological horror, but I've watched this film loads of times on the TV and I absolutely love it, so I thought I'd get it on DVD. Um, it's about time I did. It's one of my favourite Jim Carrey movies. Um, I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it and you like your psycho uh, psychological horrors. Uh, right, so next we're on to the non-horrors, and it's a great big pile of them, so I uh, hope you enjoy. Next is the uh, Zombie Horror Picture Show, which is a live um, DVD of Rob Zombie performing songs from, uh, from obviously from his band Rob Zombie and from White Zombie as well. It's pretty cool if you like his music. If you don't like his music, don't get it. And the only other music themed uh, DVD that I have here is uh, Cannibal Corpse Centuries of Torment uh, which has got three discs to it. The first disc is um, is the history of Cannibal Corpse, a three hour long documentary which is really interesting. Um, I think it pretty much starts with um, the debut album right up to Kill I think it was. Um, but it was really interesting. Uh, I highly recommend it if you're into um, rockumentaries and what have you. So, really cool stuff. And of course, disc to, um, the other discs you got uh, live performances. And I can't remember what's on disc three. I don't think I watched disc three. Uh, next, I got This Is England TV series. I know my last update. I'm pretty sure I did show the movie This Is England, and I said that I was going to get this box set, and I did. So. Uh, yeah, it's a TV series. Highly recommended, I might add. Next is Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, um, which I've been looking forward to for ages. Uh, sorry about the cover. Let me take the cover off. Really glary. That's better. Uh, really very cool stuff. Um, bringing back Frieza for a movie. So Frieza was what, always one of the best Dragon Ball villains. So. Saying that, I don't think this movie was as good as Battle of Gods. So, anyway, it's pretty cool. Next is Hulk versus, and this is a double feature with Hulk versus Wolverine and Hulk versus Thor. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Sorry for someone at the door. Next is. Uh, well, this one actually cost me a lot of money. This is for a single disc. It's for like 22 quid and um, brand new. So I thought I'd get it because I really wanted to watch it. And it's Fire and Ice. This is right up my street. Really great, and I'm glad that I paid like 22 quid for it. Really cool animation. Very cool stuff. Uh, next is another um, animated movie, and it's. Heavy Metal. Um, again, I've been wanting to watch this one for a while, but I was really disappointed in it. It's got quite a good soundtrack, but just a bit disappointed. Next is Wizards. Again, another uh, quite popular animated movie, which I was disappointed with, but uh, definitely worth a rewatch, I think. Next, we have a Studio Ghibli movie, and it's Arietti. Which, if you don't know, is pretty much the uh, is the, it's about the borrowers. Um, I loved the borrowers when I was younger, so I thought I'd get this one. It's pretty cool. And next is another Studio Ghibli movie, and it is My Neighbor Totoro. Um, this one was highly recommended to me, but I did not like this one. Um, definitely have to be a rewatch. I think did not get on with it. I don't know. I just didn't like it. Next is Red Sonja. I've wanted this one for a while to go, my Conan the Barbarian DVDs. So, um, yeah, I've always liked this movie as well. I've got a bit of a soft spot for the, these movies and for Arnold Schwarzenegger movies as well. So, it's always a good one for the collection. Next is 
the Poseidon Adventure. Um, I've always liked this movie. Um, it, you know, you've got Gene Hackman in it. It's really, really good stuff. If you've not seen the Poseidon Adventure and you like disaster movies, definitely check this one out. Next is its remake, Poseidon, with Kurt Russell. Um, this movie got panned quite a bit when it came out, but I don't know, I've, I've got a soft spot for it. I really like this remake. Um, of course, as a remake, it is terrible, but I don't know, I quite liked it. Next is Deep Impact. As you can see, I went on a bit of a disaster movie craze, so um, this was always one that I used to love watching when I had the videotape of it. So I thought I'd get it on DVD. Next is Armageddon. Again, it's one that I should have got from the collection ages ago, but yeah, I've, I've got it now, so everyone knows Armageddon. Next was one of my all-time favourite um, kids' films when I was younger, and it's Small Soldiers. Absolutely love this movie, and I still like it now. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Next is The Maze Runner 2, Scorch Trials. Um, this could have been a lot better. Um, I love the whole zombie thing in it. If they were zombies, I don't know. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, I'll say the first one was better. Next is The Last Witch Hunter uh, with Vin Diesel. Uh, this could have been a lot better. I just got bored most of the way through this. It was just okay. Could have been a lot better. And then finally for the update is Bronson. Again, this is one I should have had in the collection ages ago. I saw it ages ago and I absolutely fell in love with this movie when I watched it. Really, really great stuff. Um, if you don't know who Bronson is, it's um, he's meant to be the UK's most dangerous criminal. He's always been moved from prison to prison. Um, yeah, he got his name. Charles, uh, his name's Charles Bronson, um, which was taken from the actor Charles Bronson. His real name is Michael Peterson. So, uh, really great stuff. He's absolutely crazy, and Tom Hardy is brilliant as him. So, uh, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for subbing if you have, and I'll see you all later. Bye.